Hey my people, how you doing? I hope you guys are feeling froggy fresh. I have something new to share with you guys. Now we gotta hit the road. As you can see, I have my trailer with me. I have to pick up my four-wheeler. I also have to play a guessing game. What I mean by that is I have three keys here, and I don't know why I have three keys, because there's only two machines in the family, so not really sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure that none of these are extras, but hopefully one of them work. My money's on this one. Good news is we found the right key and I was correct. However, I don't think I have any gas. Got a little excited. Second problem is uh, the right side tire, the front tire right, right there that you probably can't see. Uh, it's flat, so I need to stop by and get some air. I think not riding your toys at all is worse than beating them. Growing up, my grandmother had like 85 acres, maybe 80 acres that we could ride our four wheelers on. Uh, we consisted of uh, my cousin, me, my brother, and my sister. We had an extremely good time, and it was even better when my grandmother uh, bought an additional like 14 acres, bringing her to somewhere around 95, 100 acres. Now, some of it is still not explored, and a lot of it still doesn't have trails on it. Well, I mean, it's been explored, it just doesn't have like actual trails on it. You kind of just have to go around certain spots because it's swampy or tilly or etc. I actually made a vlog a couple weeks ago, but it never was uploaded. I was on the market for in the market for some land. Uh, that deal never went through. I then found something else. No, I didn't buy my grandmother's land. I bought a different 100 acres, and that's where I currently am. However, I do not know how I'm going to get up the hill because it's like on a mountain. I don't know how I'm going to get up the hill with my four-wheeler. The first uh, 20 feet are going to be... Trail number one on four-wheeler is a dead end. As you can see, there's, just, there's no road. You can see that there's some sort of road like right there. But over here, it just goes up into a cliff, and this, uh, well, I could, I might be able to climb it a little bit, but we're not gonna get too uh, crazy here. We found another dead end, second trail, two for two, dead end. There's just a bunch of stuff in the way, I can't get around that, and the woods are so thick, Without my chainsaw, I can't cut myself a new trail. For some reason, it doesn't want to start. So I thought I saw one other trail down there. However, this isn't looking too good. I'll talk more about this property in the video. However, this is my first time with a four-wheeler. This is like my third time without a four-wheeler. It's not as easy to climb with a four-wheeler as it is with your feet. Also, another thing that I'm kind of curious about or kind of anxious about is the fact that not a lot of people go on this property because it's uh well, well the circumstances so there's uh, probably a lot of bear here i don't have a gun on me um <clears throat> i'm hoping my exhaust keeps the bears away that and my sweat <laughs> Oh, 
It appears that we've reached one, two, three dead ends. Well, we've hit our third and final dead end. I don't know of any other roads. I've walked on this, like I said, three times. So um, I'm pretty sure I, I haven't experienced those first two roads. However, this third road, this is the main one that we walked on the first time, me and my buddies. I was hoping that there might be a way to get around that tree. However, getting here now and being with the four wheeler, there's no way to get around that final. This, this guy, he's pretty big. It's already getting dark in my jungle. Yes, I'm going to call it the jungle because this place is thick and it's, it's difficult, that's, that's for sure. Now this is how I entered the woods. I came up the hill right there, started climbing the mountain, the jungle right here. And uh, I don't want to go down this forwards because I think I'm going to flip. Um, now I should be wearing a helmet. Don't, don't listen to what I do or don't see what I do and do it. Uh, I should be wearing a helmet. I'm just being silly. So I'm going to turn around my four-wheeler. You can see just the front end of it right there. I'm gonna turn that around, back down it, and hopefully don't flip. Figured out what's wrong with the chainsaw. Have to buy the parts tomorrow. Here's one of the parts right here. The other one's easily accessible once I pull this off. Anyways, one random question I have is, do people still play Fortnite? I've never played personally, and I was just kind of wondering if people are still playing it. If you are or are not, leave in the comment section below, I'd appreciate it. And right, just like that, it's nighttime. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. I'm sorry that those trees were down and we couldn't explore a little bit more. However, it'll give you something to look forward to. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, night, evening. Stay froggy fresh, stay super fly. Don't forget, be a machine or machine freak. We'll see you later. Now I gotta go home and check for ticks. Seriously.